Hi there, once again, welcome to Adiotech. I'm delighted to have you back on my channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how we can easily create a ton paper effect like this in Photoshop. So we're going to use, you can do this using any image at all. So I'm going to walk you through how to create this amazing ton paper effect. We're actually going to use brush in Photoshop. And watch this video today, and I'm going to show you how to get this brush. I'm going to give you for free. Consider subscribing if you're new to this channel. And also don't forget to turn on the notification bell. So you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And also like and share this video with friends. So without much ado, let's jump right into action. I've done this and I've also made some adjustment to this using the brush, creating the tone paper effect. So we're going to use this image for demonstration. So what we need to do is that the first thing we will do is to add a layer mask to this particular image. So this is the image we're going to use for our tone paper effect. So in order to do this, just go to our layer panel. At the bottom here, just click on what add layer max. So we're going to add layer max to this. Even before that, we're going to make a duplicate of this image. So let's undo this, Ctrl Z to undo this, and then let's get a copy of this background image first. Press Ctrl J or Command J on your keyboard to get a duplicate of this, and then let's turn this off. So the duplicate of the image, just turn it off, and then now let's select the background image and we apply our layer max. So after adding your layer mask, what we need to do is to go for our brush. And like I said, I'm going to show you how to get this brush at the end of this video. So stay tuned for that. Watch the video to the end in order to know how to get this. Like and share this video as well. So go to your tools panel and then select brush. And then from your list, I have this installed and I'll show you how to install that. If you go to your brush and you want to install a new brush, just click on and go to this gear icon and then go towards import import brushes and select that brush from anywhere you have it i've already downloaded it and i have it here that's the tone paper brushes and then you just click and import it i've already imported that onto my photoshop so i'll show you how to get this far at the end of this video so stay tuned for that so with this i have my brush selected in order to apply it and get some effect just i have on this with my brush selected you can increase and decrease the size of this brush if you want to reduce the size click on the left square button to reduce it. If you want to increase it, just click on the right to do that. Or you can just go over here and then you can increase the size or reduce the size over here. Okay, so after selecting your brush, make sure your layer, your background over here is black. If it's white, just switch it toward black. Now what you need to do is to click on where you want to apply the tone paper effect. So I want to use one in the face, just click over there. You will have this effect like this. And I want the second one at the bottom here. Just click on that as well. When you're done with this, all you need to do is go for your move tool and then come back to your layer panel and then turn on the second image and then drag it below the first one. Okay. So it's not going to be below the first one. And let's select the top one where you apply your layer marks. Double click on that to open your layer style. And I'm going to add some shadow to that. Just apply shadow. You can see. Already, I seen some effect, but that is not enough. We're also going to add a stroke to it. That is a white stroke. As you can see it's already taking shape. We have the white stroke. We're also going to add some inner shadow. Apply some inner shadow, and then you can increase the size or reduce it. You can see I really don't want the size too much. I just want my tone paper effect, and it's already taking shape. Just click on OK. If you are OK with that, just go ahead and then click on OK. So I think I've applied an effect, but I want to add more effects. I want to add those places, gray color to that. So I'll come back and select my image from the bottom part. And then that is the second image. And I'll go to the adjustment tool. Click on adjustment tool and go to a black and white. So change that part of my image will be applied black and white. So you can see from the list now, where I have my tone paper effects, I've changed that part towards black and white. If you want to add any other effect, you can go ahead and then do that as well. Consider subscribing because I'm going to show you so many tricks, techniques using Photoshop, Adobe Premiere, and any Adobe product. I'm going to show you how to do the Adobe design and then programming skills, techniques, and everything. You're not going to miss that on this channel. So just subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you get a grasp of all this. So this is just a simple trick to sh show you how to create a simple tone paper effect using Adobe Photoshop. But remember, I've promised to give you this file and I'm going to leave the link at the description so you can get this file install and then practices I've already showed you how to install that just go to your brush 
select your brand from the top click on the gear icon then go to import so once you download the file i'm going to give you just go to import brushes and then you get that you have the folder like this just open and then select it from this list and then you can go ahead and then use it and then you can use it to do any ton paper effects and other brushes as well i'll be teaching more on brushes i'll be doing more video on that so we'll stay alert for that i'll show you how to do all those tricks so thank you so much for watching this short tutorial remember to subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos i'm going to leave it here and then my next tutorial i'm going to do something more amazing till i come away again bye bye